Uh, assalamu alaikum in this tutorials we are going to explore crack and authentications uh, so uh, agenda for today is we will look into the gw3 header requirements for for crack and for authentication and uh, gwk url we will look into that also we will look into the gwt signer gwt validator what was the purpose of validator uh, gwt gives us and how to implement authentication and authorization for also we'll looking into the revoking tokens the header requirements for crack and d is that jwk url actually this this pointing uh, to our backend uh, backend service and uh, we have exposed semetech.json file and it will point to that uh, okay next uh, it's a gwt signing flow uh, gwt signing uh, flow starts from step one and it will check that uh, if the token needs authentication the signer will check and uh, it requires uh, access token and it will point to the backend for ver verifications and that's the process on the second flow there is authorization bearer it also needs a token uh, because it's a protected route and it will validate if it pass then request goes to the foo the gwt signer signer actually uh, gives us uh, the few things algorithm which needs uh, any algorithm you can assign there as well uh, so currently they are by default using h as 256 while in the KID, KID actually is a unique identifier uh, which every time uh, the backend symmetric file will be hit and uh, based on KID it will matching uh, inside the backend for a secret, a secret key. So also there is a key to sign access token, refresh token and GWQ URL. Uh, also disable GWQ security if uh, it will uh, false then it will strictly checking HTTPS so for that there is a jwt validator uh, jwt validator gives us the opportunity to validate every request uh, which is authenticated uh, so for that purpose it needs uh, algorithm audience and uh, role keys role keys uh, for example uh, there is multiple roles inside your uh, endpoints required like uh, normal user access admin uh, approval and so that's why you need to pass a role key url over there also there is a roles how many roles you need to define uh, here is an example user and admin so two roles are acting uh, on that specific endpoint so also there is a gw key url which already i have told you that it's a symmetric file which needs to validate uh, based on key id with a secret key uh, which based on uh, b64 encoded so also there is a last option is a cache true uh, cache true actually if you cached uh, then the uh, uh, crack and you will validate the request from cache so how to implement uh, there is a part one of that uh, uh, in the backend we have defined gwt key secret and the value of it also there is a gwt refresh token uh, because we have implemented uh, refresh token and access token based so that's why two uh, secret key is passed in the dot env file also i have assigned a port uh, dynamically or there and the symmetric file structure would be look like this inside keys there is a kid kty key type and also k k is uh, actually um a base 64 converted of a secret value like we have a gwt secret uh under gwt underscore secret value it could be uh, base 64 converted and will be assigned inside a k so also there is algorithm as well a uh, complete flow picture is like that uh, every time a validator calls that endpoint symmetric.json file it validate calls the backend of uh, uh, port 45100 and it validate the based on kid sim2 uh, because the request every request has a header inside of kid available which is uh, i will show you on the 
uh, exam practical session so then it validates to the matching to the jwt secret so that's the flow <laughs> revoking token uh, uh, actually happens when there is a something like if user uh, violates the regulations of terms and condition and you needs to uh, log out or delete that user from the system or you need to block it then user will not able to function uh, anymore so revoking token helps uh, us on that as well uh, also there is a, if you have new version added in the back end and you need a new fields to be added in the token so that purpose you will also use a revoking token so to revoking token also helps on many things